Oh boy. Welcome back. So today we're gonna work on the arm unit. So here are the runners that we are gonna need. So here are the runners. And just like that. I just made a mess. Nippers. Okay, so let's remove the knob marks. Panel line accent. Let's detail the panels. So here I'm using a gray panel accent marker so it, it would look much more natural compared to using black accent marker. This part is a little bit tedious but it's very rewarding if you were able to get it. So by this time, I noticed that there are some parts that are, the panel cups are uneven. So it's like the, the one side is, uh, the, the panel cup is a little bit wider. The other side is more narrower. So I think uh, it's based on the molding and I don't think that uh, it was inherited from the Bandai one. So at this time, we're painting the thrusters on the shoulders. and cleaning up the excess paint so I'm using the modeling knife here since it's more easier for me to control in removing the excess paint from the parts So this part is very tedious to work on so because it's very detailed inside. Well, I believe it's worth it so that's why I'm doing it. Here it goes, looking good. So I'm cleaning up the excess gold paint here in the thrusters. Yep, looks nice. and shiny so at this part I'm doing more, more details so I'm painting the inner parts of the shoulder so uh, this part should be gold 
so when you get it out of the box it's only plain white so i painted it myself so so far it went well and on this part um, i'm doing the decals so uh, this is our these are uh, water slide decals and i noticed that uh, the quality of the water slide decals is not really good so my exter my experience with this one is um, when I was doing the top coating part um, one of the decals suddenly flew off good thing uh, I was able to find it back and stick it back to the part So at this part, I was able to apply the decals and I'm cutting it. So my goal here is um, similar from the Perfect Great Strike Freedom where the shoulder parts opens up a little bit. So I want to recreate that. So that's why I'm cutting the decals here. So as you can see, I'm opening up opening it up so there you go so you can see the gold inner parts as for this one um, I'm painting the it's already a gold part but I'm still painting it to look much better so this one is the inner part of the where the shield emits so this is all white but I decided to paint it gold for extra details. So at this point, I'm working on building on the shoulders and I noticed that there's a small cup there. So the thrusters for the shoulders. It's looking good. And the cover for the top of the shoulders and the top, top piece. So, so far it went well, it looks nice, I'm very happy with the outcome of the shoulder part. So by this time this one's top coated already. There, so a much closer look. So I'm building the arm part here now. So far the build experience was okay. Uh, I didn't encounter any parts that are hard to put together. So far it went smoothly and I didn't break any parts here so it's, it's a pleasant experience for me so almost there working on the arm there you go the shield part so about the hands so I, I've encountered um, issues there 
wherein you can close the fist of the hands so when you force it the entire assembly disassembles itself so I think you need to remove some extra plastics on it but uh, for me I didn't bother um, removing the excess plastic inside so here is the arm and when it's done um, it's really nice so I'm putting the shoulders now doing the assembly putting on the arms other shoulder the other arm so that's about it about the build and let me know what you think comment down below and thanks for watching and see you next time